Hello everyone, solving the question x raised by the power of 3 minus x raised by the power of 2 plus 4x equals 120 and the value of x is what? If you can quickly solve this from the other hand there and see what the value of x is going to be so that we can easily compare with what I'm going to get here. Therefore, solving this question, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to call step number 1. That is, transfer x squared and for x to the right hand side. We're going to need the whole of minus x squared plus 4x a to the other side here. And this expression is going to become x raised by the power of 3 equals x squared minus 4x plus 120. So, what we're going to do next is to complete this x squared minus 4x into a perfect square. That is step number 2. In order to achieve this, it means I'm going to add 4 to x squared minus 4, that is x squared minus 4x plus 4. This has made this expression a perfect square. Somebody might be wondering, how do we arrive at this 4 in order to make this expression a perfect square? Very simple, half the coefficient of x. This is x, the coefficient of x is 4, so you divide it by 2, that's going to give you 2, then square it. So you square 2, by the time you square 2, we're going to have 4, because half of 4 is 4 divided by 2, which is going to be equal to 2, then when you square it, at the end of the day, you're going to get 4. So that is where we have 4 here. And this is another example, how to make an expression a perfect square. For those that will still be wondering, why did we add 4 here, why not 5, why not 6, why not 8, why is it exactly 4 that we have here? To make it a perfect square that is why i put this example there also so what are we going to have to make x square plus 10x a perfect square the same process what is the half of 10 that is 5 then square 5 what is the square of 5 that's going to be 25 which means to make x square plus 10x a perfect square we're going to add what that is 25 so by adding 25 this make this expression a perfect square as we have here this is an, a perfect square. And don't forget, this is exactly an expansion of x minus 2, all in brackets, square. And if we expand this, this is what we're going to get. We're going to get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Y x squared plus 10x plus 25 also originated from x plus 5 or square. Because if we expand this, definitely we're going to get exactly the same thing x squared plus 10x plus 25. Therefore, I need my x square minus 4x to complete a perfect square here. That is why I'm going to have 4 here. Trust me, this my expression now is going to become x raised by the power of 3 equals x raised by the power of 2 minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 then plus 120. Actually, this is what I need. I need just to have 4 to make my expression a perfect square here. And remember that in my marriage, you can just do anyhow. So I have to balance it with minus 4 to show that nothing has just happened. Why? Because plus 4 minus 4 just give me 0. So it's just as if I haven't changed anything here. So to write this perfectly well, then I'm going to have x raised by 4, 3 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 116. Because minus 4 plus 120 is going to give me 116 here. Which is the same thing as x raised by the power of 3 equals x minus 2 of square plus 116 because x square minus 4 x plus 4 when factorized is the same thing as x minus 2 of square. And this, that is x square minus 4 x plus 4 is originated from x minus 2 of square. And the next thing we're going to do is step number 3, subtract from both sides, number plus 2, 116, and that can be written in the power of cube. That is 125. Actually, we will have done it this way. That is subtracting this 116 from both sides. For simplification, that is what do I mean. Having x raised by the power of 3 minus, that is this 116 here, equals x minus 2, all in bracket, that is 2, then plus 116, then minus, say, 116. This is the way we could have done it because this 116 is going to cancel this 116 here. So this will have gone, then we're going to have these two bare weights. 
there's no way we can write 116 in an index form that is especially to the power of 3 which is exactly what we're going to need in this left hand side so what are we going to do that is why we're going to need a number that is close to 116 and that will be written in an index form especially the power of q and that number is going to be 125 and if i subtract 125 from both sides then i'm going to have x raised by the power of 3 minus 125 equals x minus 2 as it is here or square plus 16 as it is here minus 125 also don't forget that 125 is just the same thing as 5 raised by the power of 3 and that is exactly what i'm going to need here which is x raised by the power of 3 minus 5 raised by the power of 3 equals x minus 2 all square minus 9 because 116 minus 125 here is going to give me minus 9 that i'm having here now also remember that 9 is the same thing as 3 raised by the power of 2 so which i'm going to use here in certain ways i have 3 raised by the power of 2 instead of 9. if you look at this left hand side you can see that it can be expanded according to mathematical identity and this right hand side also can also be expanded by mathematical identity Quickly remember and note that when we have a raised by the power of 3 minus b raised by the power of 3, then the expansion is going to be a minus b in bracket, then a square plus a b, then plus b square. As so when we have a raised by the power of 2 minus b raised by the power of 2, then it's going to be expanded to be a minus b all in bracket, then a plus b. So we can see a similar pattern here x raised by the power of 3 minus 5 raised by the power of 3. With the same pattern as it is written here so also we can see a similar pattern here x minus 2 all raised by the power of 2 here and at the same time 3 raised by the power of 2 here which is also the same thing as this pattern that we've written here we can also step number 4 expand both sides then we can have to the left hand side we have x minus 5 in bracket and x squared plus 5x plus 25 and to the right hand side we also have x minus 2 then minus 3 x minus 2 plus 3. If we reduce this right hand side, then we're going to have x minus 5, that is minus 2 minus 3 is going to give me minus 5, then minus 2 plus 3 is going to give me plus 1. So we have x minus 5, then x plus 1 to the right hand side. And if we collect the whole of right hand side, everything to the left hand side, then this becomes equals 0 with minus in between both sides. As we can see, we can see x minus 5 here and x minus 5 here then that's going to take us to step number 5 that is factorize the common term so we're going to factorize this out and see how our expression is going to look like x minus 5 already house then square brackets open x square plus 5x plus 25 minus another x plus 1 that is here then square bracket close then we have all solved equal to 0 therefore if we reduce what's inside the square bracket then we're going to have that is if we open this bracket with this minus minus times this x that's going to be minus x then minus times plus one that's going to be minus one at the end of the day if you relate this five x with this x we're going to have plus four x here and at the same time if we relate this 25 with this minus one what are we going to have we're going to have plus 24. performing all this then we're going to have x minus 5 times x squared plus 4x plus 24 equals 0 and when we multiply two things together two variables together in my marriage and we get 0 so it means one of them must be 0 we will don't know so we say x minus 5 equals 0 then x squared plus 4x plus 24 equals 0 then from this side x definitely equals 5 then to get the value of x here because this is for that equation so we're going to use quadratic formula to find out what the value of x is going to be here in which x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac everything over 2a and the value of a is 1 the value of b is 4 while the value of c is 24 from this equation therefore putting all this value into the formula we're going to have minus 4 which is the value of b and minus b we have minus 4 plus or minus b square which is 4 square and going to be 16 minus 4 ac the value of a is 1 the value of c is 24 so 4 times 1 times 24 that's going to be 96 then 2a that is 2 times the value of 1 uh, which is 2 
then this becomes minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 80 over 2 which is minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 1 in order to separate the minus from the uh, real number here we have minus 1 times 16 10 times 5 plus 16 times 5 is going to be 80 and 80 times minus 1 is going to be minus 80 then find the square root of 16 then you're going to have don't forget this is going to split like this because minus 1 the root is going to split like this so we're going to have 4 here you will have the square root of 16 then this is going to become high at the square root of minus 1 then we're going to have square root of 5 here as the standing number then uh, we're going to have this minus or plus or minus at least 4 then square root of 5 i over 2 if we bring the common terms out here then our final answer is going to be minus 2 plus or minus 2 root of 5 i because this 2 is going to go here that's going to be 2 times at the same 2 is going to go here that's going to be 2 times so at the end of the day we have minus 2 plus or minus 2 then root of 5 i as the second value and third value of our x so this is our final answer x equals to this and we have x equals to 5 this is going to be the real one the real answer why x equals to minus 2 plus or minus root of 5 i is the complex one but if we go to test we're going to test for this in the question and check for the value of x if it is correct or not so we are testing for the real number and we go back to the question C. See that from the question and um, check if the whole of this left hand side is going to be equal to this right hand side. That is this side then equal to this right hand side. Then if that is valid then x equal to 5 is actually correct. So we're going to insert 5 wherever we find x here. Hence we're going to have 5 q minus 5 raised by power 2 plus 4 into 5. Then we're going to see if it's going to equal to 120. Actually, 5 raised by the power of 10 is going to be 125 minus 5 raised by the power of 2, that is 5 squared, which is going to be 25 plus 4 times 5, which is 20. Now we're going to see today's if it is going to be 120. Why the whole of this is going to be 100? Then we have 100 plus 20, and if we add this together, uh, it's just 120. Therefore, 120 just equal to 120, which shows that x equal to 5 is actually correct. Keep on loving my marriage. And just before we go, please and please kindly do this for me. Kindly like the video, make a comment, I'm gonna read your comment, share, subscribe. I'm gonna really appreciate that because it's gonna help my channel grow. Thank you so much.